Hi, this is Pat from Love Healing Hearts. Now I'm getting ready to read a bunch of end time dreams from Priscilla Priya, Priya, one of our YouTube viewers for this channel. Okay, here we go. I'm reading now because she wrote so much. There is no way I can remember the details. So here we go. Hi, Sister Pat Love. I would like to share with you the end time dreams, which I recollected since a few years ago till now. Well, two years ago, I saw balls of fire on the ground, hitting everywhere randomly. One ball of fire hit my stepbrother, who was standing near me. At once, he vanished. It was like this bubbling uh, activity going on on his remains on a tar road. It looks like boiling water almost. He just vanished in a split second. Then I saw many people lining up. It's a huge coup. My husband and me got into line, walking slowly in line. My spirit says it's repenting coup. It seems like long coups of repentance. That dream ended. Okay, another dream which I saw three months ago a huge rock size as one third of the earth hitting the earth while I am sitting on the top of the earth watching it. I became like a person outside of the earth, like in space, watching this huge rock hitting the earth from one side. My view is from space. I'm sitting in a chair with a table. I am having a huge empty white book in my table. This table and chair on the north side of the world. That was bizarre. Anyway, that dream ends. A few weeks later, I asked God again to reconfirm this dream. I saw another dream. A huge explosion due to something hitting our earth. I saw fire. E explosions, I mean, crazy. Suddenly I got up because the explosion was horrible. The that dream ended. Another day I saw two suns in the sky. Both are the same size. They are side by side, just a few meters away from each other. Both sons look like twins. They are orange in the in color. One the same on the same day, my daughter also had the same dream of seeing two suns in the sky. How do you like them apples? <laughs> but her dream followed by an earthquake, and it was followed by a tsunami. That moment. We are all going to church. Now, we're inside the car. That time, the tsunami came, and she saw, well, she was holding her little brother, lifted up away from the water. She said it was a tsunami. That dream ends. A few weeks ago, I saw someone who gave me a few beautiful wedding dresses. I guess three or four wedding dresses. It looked very beautiful and the fit was great. It was white in color and, and the back looks like purple. The dress is very white. Hmm. Okay. Now, okay, this is, uh, we're talking about wedding dresses. I don't want to lose my place. So give me a second because I am reading here and this is just getting crazy. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, that dream ends. Again, I saw one dream on the following day. I saw military soldiers everywhere. They're running here. They're running there. They're running to. They're running through. Frantic chaos. The war jets are also in the sky shooting. Repent and pray. I mean, it just seemed like so many people seem helpless. And that's what I'm shouting. I'm shouting, repent and pray. Repent and pray. Hold on to Jesus. We can't save our body anyway. So don't try to save your body. Rather, make sure that you save your soul. Okay? Repent and ask God's forgiveness. We need heaven. Only, that is the only thing we need. Okay? I was shouting at the crowd and everyone 
was following my words and they were repenting. Then I saw invisible soldiers. They seemed like they were wearing suits, which no one could recognize. They were behind us. They were completely invisible, but I could manage to see the shape of a person standing invisibly. I, I ran and I was shouting, soldiers are around, everyone run for your lives. That dream ended. After I woke up, I searched in the internet of invisible soldiers. To my surprise, check this out. <sighs> I saw the new high-tech nanotechnology called reverse engineering. They had recovered invisible suits or created invisible suits for soldiers. The soldier can attack very easily because they are invisible. Hmm. Another day I saw it was a normal calm day. Then suddenly... One small rock passed by, then suddenly many passed by, uh, then all the rocks seemed like balls of fire and stars falling from the sky onto the earth. I saw many, many fires zigzag on the sky. The sky no more blue. It looks like red, hot red furnace. Everyone is running for their life. It's chaos. Then I saw the earth empty. No one except a few people who were with me. Then I saw a man told me that their group had prepared a safe place for them to save themselves from the doom. I told him, please kneel down and pray at this time and place. Don't run for your life. You cannot save yourself. But he doesn't want to listen to me. He ran away and he hid himself. I thought to myself, oh, how these people are going to save their lives. How are they going to do that from these fireballs, which are falling randomly? Then I got ready to die, and I knelt down along with the few people which I gathered. I was about to give up my myself to the fireballs. Then suddenly a ship, a flying ship type thing, came, and there was Jesus. <laughs> I saw him, <coughs> excuse me, he looked so simple <coughs> in a white garment. He let me inside the ship. I call it a flying ship. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> While I'm getting in, I was singing with everyone else, hallelujah. And I got into the ship. I was safe. I heard Jesus say something like a joke and laughed. He looked very cool and calm, and he had a sense of humor. Hmm. Maybe because I am a bigger joker, he made me laugh. I, I was so happy because he had a personality and a character that I could relate to. That dream ends. We're going to do some more dreams because these dreams are coming back to back for Priscilla. Like a Gatlin gun. Okay, that's why we need to be ready, you guys. We have no idea how this is going to play out. We have no idea what the final chapter is going to have for us. We don't know if it's going to be days, weeks, months, years, decades, or centuries. Are you ready? <laughs>